Is it acceptable to marry my cousin? Oh, well, I mean, obviously not. This is something Muslims and Christians should easily agree on. If you want to marry her, go ahead. It is halal. For some reason, this is something people make fun of Muslims. Oh, go marry your cousin, go marry your cousin. Yo, bro, we marry cousins all the time. People have been marrying cousins for millions of years, bro. And humans have been doing dumb and evil stuff as long as we've been around. That doesn't magically make everything we've done okay. And yes, the chances of a birth defect might be increased, but it's not to the level where Allah knows us. Allah knows best. Clearly, Allah doesn't know best. These two reviews have reported multiple health problems and birth defects from cousin marriages, including genetic diseases, cardiovascular diseases like congenital heart disease, blood disorders, rare bleeding disorders, von Willebrand disease, platelet disorders, renal diseases, congenital malformations, and postnatal mortality. As one of the papers says, the main reproductive disadvantages of consanguinity appear to be increased risk of multifactorial disorders like diabetes, cardiovascular disorders, obesity, and certain types of cancers, which may indirectly affect reproduction. The rate of congenital malformations is reported to be increased or doubled in consanguineous compared to unrelated couples. Rates of inborn errors of metabolism are higher as most are autosomal recessive and this may in turn lead to pregnancy wastages. In other words, cousin marriages, or more broadly speaking, consanguineous marriages, can result in a host of problems in the offspring they produce. And this can easily be avoided by not doing the gross thing in marrying your cousin. If this is what Allah is allowing, then Allah does not know best. Truly Allah gives the worst of medical advice. And by the way, the papers I cited note that consanguineous marriages are a major problem in Islamic nations. As one of the papers says, Attitudes towards consanguinity within Islam are ambiguous, but it is thought that generally Islam favors consanguineous unions, seen as following the Sunnah or deeds of the Prophet. Corey et al. in 1992 found the practice to be more common in those households with Muslim affiliations. Christianity in the past might have been seen as condoning consanguineous unions, but by 591 CE, a special dispensation had to be obtained from the church to marry a relative closer than a certain degree due to a papal legislation citing the book of Leviticus. The consanguinity rate in Muslim Pakistanis in Bradford in northeast of England is about 69% as compared to the national rate of less than 1%. So consanguineous marriages are rampant in Muslim communities, and this has resulted in all sorts of birth defects and horrible diseases. And this is because Allah sanctioned them because he doesn't know best. Meanwhile, in Christianity, we started outlawing these types of marriages early on because we had better guidance, including a principle we call the two books, the book of scripture and the book of nature. We're allowed to use nature to better help us interpret scripture as well as guide our moral compasses. So when science shows us all the problems that result from cousin marriages, we're allowed to say that's immoral because of what we found in nature. Islam lacks these same important principles, and instead you have to submit to all of Muhammad's decisions, regardless of how anti-scientific they are. And this is why in Muslim communities, you have a problem of rampant cousin marriages. And you have preachers like this guy saying all that matters is what Allah said, when in reality, what matters is what the science shows. So it's high time we abandon Islam for the safety and well-being of our children. In Christianity, you can have religion without the harmful consequences you get in Islam. My parents were cousins. Look how I turned out. Yeah, look at how you turned out being an anti-scientific Islamic preacher advocating for cousin marriage. I think you should get your head checked. I have brothers and sisters who married cousins. I have lots of people in my family who are cousins who are married. Absolutely not a single issue in any of my siblings' family ever. Even if that is true, you guys have just been lucky. In one of these days, that luck is going to run out for your family as the science shows. It is true that not every consanguineous marriage results in birth defects or diseases, but there is an elevated risk that isn't necessary. Just don't marry a family member, which is gross. 
And by the way, the more your family line engages in these types of marriages, the higher the risk will be for your descendants. Don't marry a family member. Allah does not know best. You made it to the end of this video, which means this message matters to you. If you want to see more content like this reaching people for Christ, you can help make it happen. Your support makes these videos possible. Click the link below and donate today. And if you want to go even deeper, consider joining our Patreon community. You'll get early access to videos, behind-the-scenes content, and a place to connect with others passionate about this mission.